The nine singers on this movable platform create an unusual ensemble known as the Pendulum Choir. It's the brainchild of Swiss artists André and Michel de Coster. The music I wrote is about breathing. We think of the choir as a lung, as something very organic. We explore the relationship between movement and music empirically. The choreography, the movement of the machines, is precisely calculated, and yet every performance is still different. There are always slight changes. That means the two brothers have to react spontaneously. For instance, when the singing of a passage takes slightly longer than planned. We've pre-programmed everything. We're there to switch on the prepared sequences. But still depending on how the choir sings. Today the choir is performing in the artist's homeland, in western Switzerland. In the town of Cernier, they're appearing as part of Les Jardins Musicaux, an annual contemporary music festival. More than 200 people came to see and hear the Pendulum Choir and were thrilled by the performance. I really loved it, yes. I don't know, I found it rather mesmerizing. It raises questions. There's a futuristic aspect to it I like very much. I'm sure to keep reliving the performance in my mind. I'd like to see it again. Wonderful, but it's not easy to take. It wasn't very cheerful. A few hours earlier, the singers were getting strapped into their platforms, around a meter off the ground. The De Costers have worked with the same ensemble since the Pendulum Choir made its debut two years ago. Its members are classically trained singers from Switzerland, France and Germany. The choir has performed internationally, and this year it's already won renowned awards in Austria and Japan. It looks tough and dangerous and so forth, but it's not really so strange. You can sing in any position. In opera, you sometimes have to sing while sitting or lying on your back. The, the breath is difficult to... Uh, to breathing normally with the, the belt, but uh, we have now the make a lot of time, and now it's a second, uh, a second nature. <laughs> Just a few kilometers away from the festival venue is the artist's workshop, on the top floor of this building. Under the name Code.Act, the Deco Stam brothers have been designing and constructing prize-winning art installations since 1997. This one, called Cycloid E, transforms the swinging of a horizontal pendulum into sounds. The interaction between movement and sound is at the heart of this installation too. When creating the technology behind the Pendulum Choir, they tried to make the movements look natural. There's been just one close call when one of the platforms suddenly stopped moving. The singer was trapped. He was stuck. And the other singers were in difficult positions too. Then audience members got up. They unbuckled the singers and helped them get down. It was quite a spectacle. <laughs> it was unpleasant. There were lots of people there. They thought it was great, but we were completely shocked. <laughs> now every singer can bring the pendulum choir to a standstill at the touch of a button, should something go wrong. 
but standing at funny angles and singing funny sounds is part and parcel of the performance. <laughs> 